welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install and set up a handy program in Windows 10. That gives us a few tools that make life a lot easier when using Windows 10 operating system. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, you now need to click on this .msi link and you now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we can now go ahead and run the setup file. And you now need to go next and read the license and accept it and press next. And you can now decide where you want to install Power Toys 2. I'm just going to leave it in the default directory. And you can also choose if you want a shortcut. I'm actually going to create a shortcut. And you can choose if you want it to start up with Windows. I don't actually want it to start up with my Windows 10. So I'm going to actually deselect that. But if you do like the tools that are in this program, then you will want it to start up with Windows 10. You now need to go ahead and press next and install. And once Power Toys has finished installing, we can go ahead and keep launch Power Toys selected and press finish. And you will now notice in the bottom right hand corner of your screen in the system tray, you have an icon that looks like this. If you don't see this icon, then press this up arrow and you will see it there. You now need to double click on Power Toys and you will end up with a window that looks like this. This is all the settings for Power Toys. And the first setting, as you can see, we have Fancy Zones. We then have Power Rename and we have Shortcut Guide. To start off with, I'm just going to show you what Shortcut Guide does. All we need to do is hold down the Windows key and it will show us all the Windows shortcuts. And as you can see, there are some pretty awesome shortcuts there. And that is what that does. It's just a simple overlay with the Windows 10 shortcuts. To remove this, all you need to do is let go of the Windows key. Next, we have Power Rename. I know I'm working from the bottom up, but I'm leaving the best until last. Right, Power Rename. This allows us to rename files in bulk, which is pretty awesome and makes life so much easier. All you need to do is find some files that you want to rename in bulk. I'm just going to create a folder on my desktop quickly and then open that folder up. And I'm now going to create a few files in this folder just to demonstrate what it does. I'm just going to create a few text documents, just copy that and paste it in. There we go, we've got lots of different text documents in there. All you need to do is simply select the files that you want to rename in bulk and right click. You now need to go to Power Rename and click on it. And you will end up with a window that looks like this. We can now go ahead and search for the text that we want to replace. For example, let's use text. I'm just going to search for text and in this little window below, you will see the new rename file will be new document and the original was new text document. We can then go to replace with and I could just put something like computer and it will now rename all these files to new computer document. If I press rename, there we go. And that is how brilliant that little tool is it makes life so much easier when having to rename a load of files in bulk the next handy tool that power toys has to offer is fancy zones to start off with first you need to click on fancy zones on the left hand side menu here and we can now go ahead and click on edit zones you can now choose a layout. For example, I'm just going to select columns and I'm going to go edit selected layout and we can actually change this layout. At the moment we have three columns. I could simply click here 
and now I've got two columns here and I've now got two rows one above each other. We now need to go ahead and press save and apply and if I now open up a couple of programs, for example, I currently have Power Toys open, I'm just going to open up this new folder and also open up a text document. If we now select the text document and hold down shift, you can see that our little layout has popped up. And if I go to the left hand side one and let go of the mouse button, it's now dropped that window into that column. If I hold on to this window and hold down shift and go to the top right hand corner, it's now dropped our file explorer up there. And we can do the same for power toys and put that in the middle. I really love that little tool. I think it's absolutely fantastic being able to place different applications all over your screen. And that is pretty much it for Power Toys. Like I said, I definitely recommend you give it a try. It really is worth installing. And also don't forget there are lots of settings below for fancy zones, as you can see, which I will allow you to go through. You can also change the zone color if you didn't like the blue. Also, there's a few settings for Power Rename and also Shortcut Guide. And that is it for this little tutorial. I hope this video did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.